Katie Francis Joy coming to you with another art journal page and this is in my Dino Weekly media journal um, the one that's for show us your media um, I could not wait for the challenge so I decided to go ahead and play around in this journal so I'm using some of the um, Dino Weekly paints that came with the kit and I just decided to spread that across the page so I added a little pink and um, turquoise. I also um, have some other Dino Wakely paints that I decided to pull out to use. And that's where I got this turquoise color from. And then to spread that across a paint page and let the two paints um, blend a little bit. And it makes this lovely purple. And I realized I had a little bit too much of that turquoise. So I, I grabbed a, another journal and was wiping some of that off on to another journal and um, try not to cover up too much of the pink um, you know completely I, I really wanted to have uh, that some of that pink showing so then I um, grabbed my um, my golden matte medium and to cut out this image out of the um, Dino Wakely collage uh, paper and started to glue that down on the one side of the page so that's what I'm doing here so I'm getting that glued down um, really good I put the glue um, on the page and then um, put my image down and now I'm going over the top of it and then there's also this quote here that I want to put on this page and so I begin cutting that out because it's too long to fit on the page so I've realized I'm gonna have to cut it out and then somehow cut it into pieces in order to get it on this page. This quote also came from the Dino Weekly collage papers. It had uh, a little page of quotes in it. Um, so um, I'm cutting it up and it says, May the sun always shine on your windowsill. May a rainbow be certain to follow each rain. May the hand of a friend always be near you. May God fill your heart with gladness to cheer you. So I thought that was kind of cool. And so um, I'm using the golden matte medium to glue all of these strips down to my page and I'm um, cut, having to cut these, uh, you know, sentences uh, down to fit. And there goes my clock. <laughs> I apologize for the clock. It always uh, likes to chime at the most inopportune moments. Um, that's okay. A gift from my mother reminds me of her every time it chimes. Hmm, maybe that was her motivation for giving me this clock. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Too funny. So anyway, I grab my Posca pens and decide to take the black pen to trace a frame around um, the quote here and around my windows to kind of get an idea of, you know, how, um, how I want, because I want to take black paint. My, my um, plan is to take some black paint and paint around all of this. So I'm... Um, trying to decide, you know, up to what point I'm going to, you know, how I'm going to paint around these images. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm quickly sketching out um, a frame around the window and then a, something around the quote. So once I figured that out, I just grabbed some acrylic black paint um, and start painting around the images until I, you know, cover the background with the black paint. And I kind of got a small brush, which is kind of good to get around the images um, so that I can be more precise, but I probably should have switched to a thicker brush to cover the rest of the page, but I did not, so whatever. <laughs> It got covered. That's the important thing. You know, I did eventually get the whole thing covered. 
and um, I, I need to um, start spending more time um, art journaling. Um, I mean, right now, currently, I only art journal on the weekends when I have time, so I maybe do like one art journal a week, one art journal page a week, which, you know, really... I should be, you know, I should try to do more than that because I'm finding that, you know, like my paints and stuff are starting to dry up on me, <clears throat> which isn't good. And plus, you know, I mean, I would like to do more creative <clears throat> things during the week and um, have more time to be creative. Um, it just seems like the weeks are always so busy, you know, and I commute so by the time I get home it's late and I'm tired and yeah and then um so I decided I better put something underneath this page or else I'm going to end up getting this all over the page that I did previously so I threw a paper towel under there which um is helpful and then I'm trying to carefully um paint around uh, these images and finish getting this page painted yeah you can see here I'm trying to my paint keeps having like uh, dry paint coming out of it <coughs> excuse me so I'm trying to get those dry you know str stringy pieces of dry paint out of there so I um, go around and like the this paper, I love the paper in this journal, but the paper is really textured. And so I had to um, <clears throat> really try to make sure I got the black paint and all the little crevices and stuff. So I decided to grab this gold, um, it's actually a gold paint marker, and just go around the frame of these windows. I don't know, I just felt like it. <laughs> no rhyme or reason um, so that's what I'm doing here I'm just going around kind of the um, frame of the windows with the gold uh, paint marker and it doesn't really show up as much as I thought it would but I mean you know it's it's, it's kind of uh, um, transparent but that's okay uh, so you, you know you can kind of see it but it's not really that good I stand not as well as I thought and then I take my white Posca pen and I decided I wanted to trace a frame around um, my quote and then um, after I did that I just felt like I don't know this needed something more um, it just seemed like it with all that black I needed to do something more to the page um, so you'll see here in a minute, um, I decided to do some patterns in um, the background on this page. So yeah, I think my white pen is, uh, Posca pen is running out, but this, is, this pen has been great. It goes over anything and everything. I've never had a problem with it. Um, but it is running out on me. But I have, I just bought a new set, so I'm not completely out of, you know, um, SOL. So, yep, I decided to do some little crosses or pluses or whatever you want to call them on this page and a couple of different areas. So that's pretty much the art journal page for today. I thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Um, if you like this, you can hit the like button. If you want to see more, you can hit the subscribe button or you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Um, I'm really looking forward to the challenge coming up and I'm having a lot of fun playing in this journal. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun. So thank you guys for stopping by and watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.